Okay guys, welcome back. So today uh, we're going to be working on my HJC Spartan helmet. Um, so I have a Senna on this helmet, the SMH5 installed and the mic has stopped working. So I thought I'm going to go ahead and order a new mic for it, but the new mic is costing me around 2,500 rupees. So what I decided is that uh, before I order a new mic, why not open it up and check if we can repair the existing mic. So let me show you the SMH5. As you can see, it's got like a lot of scratches, dings all over it. So it's quite an old unit. I've been using it uh, for almost eight years now, uh, I think. Uh, anyways, so let me just show you how I have installed it uh, to start with. So um, let me just turn this around and then uh, show you a little bit. So that's where my um, earphones are installed so basically there's a speaker um, you can see that black piece right behind there that's one speaker and then I have another one uh, right behind the side sponge so let me show you the mic so that is where I place the mic and the connector as you can see it's exposed right now and the wire comes in front uh, originally the mic wasn't there um, I have moved it there just for this video purpose originally the mic was uh, here where I'm showing you right now and the wire would run behind this sponge and um, I've actually pushed in all the wire and the connector inside and then uh, that's the lock what I would do is I would just press the lock and locked it so that's how it was originally installed but um, I in the excitement I actually pulled everything out and then realized might as well I shoot a video of it uh, so everybody knows how to repair this and a mic so that's the connector let me pull it out and Okay, here, <clears throat> yeah, now that I pulled this out, I'm going to go and check if the mic is working and try to find out where the loose connection is or the continuity has broken and see if we can fix this or we need to replace this. Okay, here's my multimeter. So I have put it in the continuity mode. So when you put it in the continuity mode and you touch both the terminals, you will typically hear a beep noise and that beep indicates that there's continuity and you'll see that the voltage changes from one now i'm gonna go and check whether the continuity is there okay now just trying to connect you can hear the beep but when i connect it to the two input output points there's no beep so definitely somewhere the wire is broken so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to take out the back side velcro which is there for the mic <clears throat> okay there it comes out and um, that's a glue based um, velcro it's been glued onto it you can see the glue over there and the velcro on the other side so I'm just taking that out and so it's got a really tiny microphone and those are the two wires that connect to it and just by looking at it um, you know that's the positive that's the negative and I can't see the wire on the other side so now let's see if it's um, you know continuous power is coming from that point to the point which is there at the speaker right okay yep you can hear the beep that's working so let's see if the other wire is also connected it's kind of a struggle to keep the camera on the side and work on this Yeah, there we go. Yep, the positive wire is connected and it's working. So I think the issue is right now with the negative wire. So let me try to get you guys a proper close up. Not sure if it's coming clear. So you can see this positive wire, it's shouldered in and it's all neat and clean. And the negative wire, it's actually cut. It's not. Uh, shoulder to the point so now what we're going to do is try to connect that lead all the way down to that shouldering point so that um, you know the power flows to the mic and then we can start using the mic so again here is a much clearer shot of the, the missing wire so that's the strand there i need to connect both of them so what i've done is i've taken a small strand of wire and what we're going to be doing is that we would use that to create a connectivity between 
the negative wire and the shouldering point that it's looking at. But first we need to remove the sponge. I've already removed it because I needed to use both my hands to pull it apart. Be careful so you don't tear it. So you see the tiny uh, piece inside which is called a gold thing. So that's the actual mic. Everything else is the plastic placeholder to hold it. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to pull the mic out. Uh, it, now that I've pulled out the mic, this is how it will look for you. So you see the black wire right below the white one. So that's the negative and you can see that it's disconnected. There's a strand right below. So you have to solder the old mic out and then pull the wire in. So once you pull the wire in, prep it uh, so that you can re-solder it. So here I have spliced the wire. So I have my negative and positive. They're all prepped and ready to be soldered onto the mic. Applying some flux on the two wires so that when I solder them, they have a good bond. So I've soldered the mic to the wires and as you can see, this is how it looks after I've done. Um, it's a good bond that's there. So let's go and see if it works. But So I'm going to connect it back and then try to use some basic voice commands to be sure that it's working before I fix everything back. Okay, we are all fixed and it's working. Yeah, it's working. You heard me right. So what I've done is I fixed the mic onto the chin segment. You can see there's a Velcro and the mic fits onto the Velcro. There's a wire. I'm running the wire right down there and it then is connected and concealed very well as you can see how the mic is. Thank you for watching my blog. If you're not subscribed yet, bang, click on the subscribe button. It's right there. If you want to watch the last two videos that I've uploaded, I put them up here and here. And of course, my favorite playlist, The Superbike Weekend, it's right up here. You can check that out. Don't forget to smash the like button on the way out.